Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to part one of my Sims 4 Discover University Let's Play series. Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to part one of my Sims 4 Discover University LP series. I am very happy. <laughs> I am in a good mood today because I just had some coffee and uh, today we get to finally explore the Sims 4 Discover University expansion pack. I've been wanting a college experience for my Sims and the Sims 4 for a mighty long time and I'm just so happy that we uh, we finally have that now. I'm, I'm really excited. This is something that I've been wanting for a very long time and I know that a lot of you have been wanting a university experience in the Sims 4 for a long time just like me so um yeah I'm really excited not going to ramble on in this introduction too much because I really want to dive into this expansion pack and this LP I hope that you uh, enjoy this LP and uh, enjoy the characters the sims that we're going to be following throughout this series I hope that you love them just as much as I do so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it because I, I want to play <laughs> and I don't want to ramble on too much okie dokie guys so here we are just outside of our home base this is the home base for the sims that we're going to be following throughout this LP series we are in the town of Gibbs Hill which is right in between uh, Brightchester University and Foxbury Institute so this little area this little town is right in between both of those uh, schools so you have a lot of college students around here it's a really beautiful beautiful area it's a beautiful fall morning I love the colors of the leaves of the trees it just looks so beautiful and I just cannot wait to see how this area is going to look throughout uh, the rest of the seasons but yeah I'm in love in love <laughs> I'm in love with uh, Gibbs Hill so far here is our home base we have two sims that we're going to be following throughout this LP we have Jason Pierce who is in here on the computer he has class in a couple hours but he's starting off his morning by playing some video games um, but we have Jason Pierce and we have Stephanie Pierce who is over here what is she doing she's in the bathroom she was talking to herself a minute ago but we have Stephanie and Jason Pierce and they both live in this uh, rental home uh, this is not a school property this is a rental home that belonged belongs to someone that used to attend Brightchester University and uh, as the years went on the opportunity came up for them to purchase this home and now they run it out to college students so this is not not a uni this is not university housing this is a rental property and this home was actually uh, built up by me or I can say renovated uh, by me this home was originally a EA house that looked very bad and I just I could not it was terrible I, I it was something else so I had to go ahead and spruce it up a bit if you're interested in checking out the speed build slash renovation uh, for this house I'll have that uploaded in a couple days but yeah I just had to give this home a little love and uh, go ahead and try to spruce it up and make it make it look like a little something and I'm proud of how it turned out there's room for improvement but um, I love how it turned out um, but yeah so this is our home base this little rental home here and this is where Stephanie and Jason Pierce will be spending uh, their time while they're enrolled in uh, their their different schools so um, Stephanie and Jason both have the last name but they are not siblings they are not cousins they are not uh, you know random people who happen to have the same last name Stephanie and Jason are mother and son <laughs> 
they are mother and son and they are both enrolled in college they're both trying to uh, pursue their degrees and graduate college Jason finds it pretty interesting having his mom uh, be his roommate here uh, while he's in university why are these rugs movable that must be a glitch but yeah so uh, Jason he's kind of learning to adjust with having his mom be his roommate um, but he's really proud of his mom she decided to go ahead and uh, pursue a degree in psychology now you know you could argue that it's kind of late in life she's an adult she has a kid who's clearly old enough to be in college so why is she pursuing a degree now well let me go over their backstory Stephanie uh, decided to enroll in the University of Brightchester when it was time for her son Jason to uh, enroll in college and you know just start looking at different things he wanted to do for his future so when she saw him him getting ready for college she decided to go ahead and enroll in university herself and that is because Stephanie had Jason when she was very young she found out oops let me let me pause and stop moving <laughs> uh, Stephanie found out that she was pregnant with Jason shortly after graduating high school while she was in high school she knew she was going to go to university she had it set in her mind that she was going to go to college get her degree and become a teacher Teacher. she loves learning she loves people she loves um, just bettering herself and learning new things and in high school she knew she was going to go to college right away but that did not happen <laughs> because she found out that she was pregnant shortly after graduating and Jason's dad did not want anything to do with uh, her and Jason he kind of just took off haven't seen him haven't heard from him uh, since she told him that she was pregnant so uh, at that young age she decided to put her dreams of attending college on hold because she had to look after a little one and she wasn't going to be able to give Jason the time and attention that he deserved while she was you know if she were to go ahead and go to college so Stephanie knows what it's like to put in work she's always had a job you know things have been tight financially for them they know what it's like to struggle but but Stephanie has always done the best she could to make sure that she gave Jason everything he needs everything he wanted and um, seeing her baby boy grow up and take that next step in his life and enroll in university really inspired her because attending college is something that she really wanted to do when she was young and she never got the opportunity and so she just brought it up to Jason and was like you know what what would you do if I decided to go to school you know get my degree just like you and Jason being the supportive sweet little somewhat of a mama's boy that he is he went ahead and supported his mom he was like you know what you've sacrificed so much for me and put your life and dreams on hold for me why don't you just go ahead and do it you know it's never too late so that is how Stephanie came to be a college student a little later in life but you know what it's never too late as long as you're still breathing your ticker still ticking it's never too late for you to go after something you want so uh, that's how Stephanie came to be a college student so we're gonna have her psych herself Bye up <laughs> give her a little bit of a confidence boost because you know university is kind of intimidating to her she's really excited to finally start um, but yeah <laughs> she needs a little bit of a confidence boost but she is enrolled in the psychology program she's working towards her psychology degree at the University of Brightchester she's enrolled in two courses right now an art uh, not an art in history of perception and the uh, there I therefore I am intro into psychology class now she's only taking two classes right now because she is working she works at a clothing store you know she just stocks the shelves and all that you know she does have to make some money these two are um, scholarship recipients they both have a full ride scholarship so that kind of helps out with their tuition and fees and stuff for books and 
it helps out with their uh, housing so it kind of worked out for the both of them Jason is happy that his mom decided to go to college and get her life together and pursue a goal that he's kind of getting used to the idea of his mom being his roommate when she brought the idea of going back to college she didn't really think well he didn't really think that his mom would be his roommate he just didn't really think that far into it and she was just so excited and inspired and ready to do this that uh you know <laughs> she kind of followed Jason and ended up being his roommate but it's cool you know you're your roomies with someone you can trust Jason he he kind of wants to party a little bit get to know some girls so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this all plays out with him uh living right next door to his mom like his bedroom is right next door to her so that's going to be pretty interesting to see uh, let me go over Stephanie's traits really quick and please forgive me if this part is very talky you know first parts uh, tend to be very talky because you got to make the introduction and get the backstory and all that but I promise you we'll dive into more gameplay as this LP series goes on uh, but Stephanie is outgoing she's a geek ambitious and a quick learner uh, Stephanie was always super smart that's you know that's why she assumed she'd always go to college it would be a breeze for her but you know an unexpected pregnancy uh, you know through a wrench in those plans but here she is and does she have class today she doesn't have class today uh, but we can have her when she's done giving herself a little pep talk can have her come in here and uh, let's see work on studying for the history of perception class Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and introduce you guys to Jason. Jason is Stephanie's son, and he's really adorable, really cute. He's a very sweet guy. His traits are outgoing, geek, ambitious, and a quick learner. He's pretty much just like his mom. <laughs> uh, Jason loves to learn about how things work. He loves taking things apart, putting them back together. He loves uh, technology and computers. So uh, he is major ring in the computer science degree at the Foxbury Institute so even though these two are both college students they don't go to the same school Jason goes to Foxbury and Stephanie goes to Wrightchester Jason is in the introduction to computational ideas course as well as the programming principles course and uh, he just loves technology he wants to build robots build computers take things apart see how they work and he is a really good kid I it's going to be kind of interesting though <laughs> seeing how he's going to thrive in this whole college environment with his mom right there it's going to be pretty interesting to see but I'm I'm really excited about that um, while he's been here he has made a couple of friends he's really close I won't say close close but he's friends with Lilith Pleasant she is a student at Foxbury Institute as well and she's majoring in villainy uh, but somehow these two have become friends so I can't wait to see what happens with their little relationship I would love for him to have a girlfriend or, you know, just, you know, enjoy his youth and have a couple girlfriends, maybe for a little bit, but, you know, enjoy himself in his young adulthood. It's going to be interesting seeing how that works out with his mom being so close, but we shall see. And he is a little hungry, so let's have him come down here and grab a bite to eat. This home isn't super fancy. Let's have him grab some leftovers or something in there. Um, This home isn't super fancy it's you know a rental place for college students so you're not going to have the fanciest looking furniture the fanciest flat screen tv it's a decent place to to call home while you're going to school um, oh jason's class starts in an hour okay he's got his first class in an hour really excited uh down here is the basement this area is made up for another student both jason and stephanie are looking to add another roommate to the mix this area will be for them once they follow agree on a roommate they've been having a lot of people stop by to uh, inquire about you know being their roommate so we'll see how that goes now they have full ride scholarships which which helps with their finances but you know you still have to pay uh, for food and electricity and water so having a roommate uh, will help out with those things the scholarship pretty much just covers rent but you know utilities and food and all that that has to come out their pocket so uh, yeah it'd be 
be really good to have a roommate help out with those expenses. And Jason, you have class in in in, in twenty twenty something minutes. Okay, all right, dude. I want you to clean up and get ready to go. And I'm really sad about classes being rabbit holes. Travel, remove his favorite bike. Okay, so this is his this is his bike. Will he bike to school? Can't wait to see how that works. Okay, what time does class start? How's he gonna get to class? Is he gonna walk or is he gonna bike? Oh, he's gonna disappear. Okay. <laughs> it would have been kinda cool if he like rode on his bike and then uh disappeared a little little ways off. But he's off to his first class. And this course is a little over an hour. He'll be in class until two fifty five. Awesome. And while he's there, what can we have him do? Okay, so he can actively listen, take notes, sleep in class, leave early or chat with students. I want him to actively listen since this is is his first class and uh, while he's in school we'll check in on Stephanie now she's over here studying uh, what course is she studying for the history of perception course awesome now for her class doesn't start until Thursday wait until when until Thursday yes yeah. so she doesn't have to worry about a class today but she does have to work I don't want her to go to work in a in a low mood so let's have her what does she need to do she needs to eat and she needs to have some fun actually wait what time does she have to be at work okay she has to be at work at six all right so let's have her do a couple things take care of herself she has a couple hours before work so let's have her enjoy a meal and then watch a little bit of TV now uh, Stephanie does have have a job she works at a clothing store um, she works at a little boutique she stocks the shelves and all that Jason does not have a regular nine to five job uh, what he does is he takes on odd jobs every now and then to bring in some simoleons he really just wants to have enough free time to take care of his not free time is it really free time if you're going to school but he just wants to have enough time to focus on school and then fit his work around that so he doesn't really have a traditional nine to five he just takes on odd jobs every every now and then and let's see jason turned in his homework confidently that the that class that what oh, goodness <laughs> jason turned in his homework confidently that class and squeezed every bit of knowledge he could out of it that kind of effort will surely be a great help to his final grade in this course awesome so just like that he's coming home I'm kind of sad that classes are rabbit holes oh and look who it is it's mr. Bob pancakes I am really happy that he showed up because we have to dive into his relationship with Stephanie so she's in here eating let's have her come over here and invite him in now I don't know if you guys caught that that, but Stephanie has a little bit of a flirtation ship with Bob Pancakes. Now, Bob Pancakes is divorced. He and his wife, well, his ex-wife, um, ended their relationship a while ago. And Bob is attending university to pursue a degree in the culinary arts. And just like Stephanie, he is an adult. He's a little older than most of the kids you see on campus. And uh, he's an adult going after his degree and Bob started this whole little meetup study group support group for older students called it's never too late and that's how he and Stephanie met let me go ahead and bring that up where's the groups there it is yeah so uh, Stephanie and Bob are both a part of the group it's never too late and basically it's for uh, college students who are adult or elder it's like a little support group you're there to lift each other up give each other uh, support and inspiration and hold each other accountable you know while you're in school but it's not just for those in school it's for people who are a little little older going after their goals so you know you know people who are a little later in life trying to start a business get a degree they 
things like that. So that's the group that uh, Bob started. And that's how he and Stephanie uh, met. Um, so Bob is divorced. And he and Stephanie flirt a little bit. They have a cute little relationship. I really want these two to end up together. But right now they're just, they're just friends. And they flirt a little bit. And I can't wait to see uh, what their future holds for these two. Now Stephanie has work in two hours. She needs to boost her fun. How about her and Bob come over here and uh, watch TV together? Have these two be adorable and watch TV together. Now, I just think it's so cute that Stephanie, like, has a little bit of a flirtationship while she's in school. Like, I feel like she's finally getting a chance at being or having experiences that she always felt as though she should have and bob why are you going to our fridge <laughs> and jason's just standing around can we invite him to watch tv with us i really want him to watch tv with us and why is he going downstairs he's doing something weird okay whatever <laughs> we're going to ignore bob um but for jason you need to use the bathroom and i really want to have them get out of the house so we can explore more of the uh, campus and all that good stuff so he went to his first class his next class isn't until Thursday and eventually have to submit a term paper and a final exam okay cool but just like Stephanie with Stephanie being in a group Jason has the opportunity to join uh, an organization with the college you know with the the Foxbury Institute so I'm kind of want him to also get out there like his mom and uh, be a part of some events and different things are happening because he's young I want him to grab grab as much of this college experience as he can so uh, today happening right now there is a study session at the library at the Foxbury Institute and I really want him to go and check that out in three hours there'll be the Foxbury Spirit Squad at bar night at the local bar who likes juice Foxbury likes juice oh that seems really fun okay so that starts at Eight. that's from 8 to 12 and it's like 5 now the study session goes on until 7 um, should we have him go to the study session and then go to the bar let's have him do both okay so we're gonna have him go to the study session and we're gonna have him invite his friend Lilith and then after they study together maybe they can go to the bar and have some fun and all that good stuff and we'll check up with them when they get there Alrighty, loves we're here at the library with Jason and Lilith and she's running off ahead of us but let's take a moment to check out this library ooh this doesn't look too bad this does not look too bad the house that was on the lot that we live on originally was terrible and I'm just so happy that <laughs> this library does not look as bad as that house but let's check it out a little bit it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so it's study time. Can we have these two grab a table together somewhere kind of tucked away? They can go upstairs as well. Can they? No, not really any seating for both of them upstairs. Okay, let's have them sit together over here and study. And then um, at 8, they can go to the bar and uh, enjoy uh -huh. spirit night and all that. Um, but let's have him. No, 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 don't go away. Don't go away. Let's have these two chat. He's in a row. Ah. Have these two chat. <laughs> and can they study together? Do homework? Oh, wow. This is really, really cool. Okay, so you can actually study together. All right, so we can do homework for programming principles together. And we can do homework for introduction to computational ideas together. So let's see what we need to take care of course-wise. Uh, homework, not started for programming principles. Yeah, we have homework for everything. All right. <laughs> so let's start on the uh, homework. Let's chat with her a little bit. Come with her outfit because she has a really cool sense of style. And I think Jason just really likes how she's just super comfortable with being herself. Like based on her style and her personality, like she's really unapologetic. So I think Jason really likes that. Um, but enough chatting, you two. We are here to study. So let's do our homework. Do our homework while we're here. 
and oh, oh my wow. gosh this is so cool <laughs> i love it they're studying for the university work i'm just uh super excited about this expansion pack and i know i've said this before but uh, please forgive me if this part is really like talky and we don't really dive into gameplay too much in this part because this is the first part and i feel like i have to do a, a lot of talking and introducing and sharing of the backstory so so yeah i promise we'll dive into more things as we go along and i'm really excited about diving into uh, stephanie and bob's relationship and seeing what that blossoms into and seeing Stephanie graduate. Really excited about seeing how Jason's going to handle university life with his mom being so close. So, yeah, I, I'm really excited about this expansion pack. And can we just take a moment to appreciate Lilith's shoes? Look at her shoes. They are awesome. I've been wanting new shoes in this game for a minute now, so I'm, I'm really happy about the shoe choice uh, that we that we have with this pack. Um, but let's have them study. Actually, study time is going to be ending soon. Okay. The official study session ended ends at seven. It's seven o six now. So organizations. Jason is not a part of any organizations. Any son enrolled in, in, in university can enjoy by asking an, organiza an active organization member. Okay. All right. So the Brainiac study session is over. Um, were there other people here? Is she a part of anything? Let's give her a friendly introduction after we're done our homework. Oh, who's this guy? Another person over here. Who is this? This is Sion. Awesome. Okay, so are huh. you a part of any organization? Steep conversation, complain about Selfie. professor, brag about oh, grades, oh, actions. Gosh. Oh, we that could ask day. her to be oh, our new hard. roommate. Well, you know what? It would be really cool yeah, if Lilith cool. could be our roommate. Oh, <laughs> they kind of have a little friendship there. He has a little crush on her. It will be kind of awkward oh, having her be his roommate with his mom purple. there. I don't know. Oh, we'll figure out that well, roommate situation out. A little later but let's have them oh, finish up their homework and the oh, next event uh, should be happening oh in 20 hours no okay that's the Brainiac that happens the Brainiac study session that happens in 20 hours okay so we have the Foxbury spirit squad which happens in four minutes all right oh, yeah. so let's have them chat meet some people Ooh, who's this he's an older student the seer Awesome, awesome. All right. All right, I'm loving it. Oh, it's after 8. I want you to go to the Foxbury Spirit Squad at the bar with Lilith and uh, check this out and see what it has to offer. And we'll catch up with them when they get there. Alrighty, loves. Jason and Lilith have made it to the bar. And it's not super crowded. It's pretty empty in here. But I love the look of the bar. I really do. It's kind of bland and a little bit of open concept. <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad. Let's check out upstairs. Oh my goodness, we have the ping pong table. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this is an organization uh, event. A spirit squad member. Awesome. So is there a leader? Leader. I kind of want him to figure out who the leader is of these this event and then like befriend them or do you just have to interact with members how does this work how does this work who's this oh I like her walk <laughs> awesome okay let's have him take a break from dancing and introduce himself let's introduce himself to Cameron Fletcher give a friendly introduction have him make some friends. Is he a spirit squad member? It should pop up over his head. He's not a spirit squad member. That's all right. Um, but who's this? She's a spirit squad member. He's a spirit squad member. Oh, he was in the uh, library with us. So let's have him introduce himself to Sion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's have him introduce himself. Try to befriend him, get to know him a little bit. Where is everybody going? Everybody's doing their own thing. They're all just cheering in the corner. <laughs> is she the leader? Is that why they're all looking at her? I'm kind of confused right now. Uh, but Stephanie brought home 132 simoleons. Awesome. Let's have her uh, 
take care of herself while she's at home. Jason, what are you doing? I really want him to befriend a member. Is it over? Just like that? Oh goodness. <laughs> oh, it's happening till twelve. Who likes to who likes juice? Foxbury likes juice. Who likes to mingle? Foxbury likes to mingle. Join the party. Okay. Alright, so I guess as we get further along in this LP, we'll figure all this out. But I I'm loving the bar. Cool place to mingle. Where is Lilith? Did she did she sneak off on us? I guess she had to uh, head back home. She kind of left us. Okay. Um, he's a little tired, but I don't want him to leave just yet. Can you play uh, Juice Pong against somebody? He doesn't really know anybody here. We'll just take this opportunity to uh, get to know someone. So this guy, let's talk to him. Let's ask to join the Foxberry Spirit Squad. Yes, that's what I want to do. Jason is now, that was easy, wow. Jason is now a member of the Foxbury Spirit Squad. He has been given an official Foxbury Spirit Squad t-shirt and poster as a welcoming gifts. Awesome. So this is pretty cool. I really, really wish we had like sororities and fraternities. That would be kind of fun. I don't think that's a thing in this whole expansion pack, but that'd be kind of cool. But it is kind of fun to be a part of this whole organization though. So um, let's chat with this guy and get to know him him oh he's leaving us okay <laughs> he's busy he's got to mingle with other people we started chatting with this guy can we get to know him a little bit since this is our first organization meetup he's a goofball oh there's Lilith yeah she had to step out for a second well, let's get to know this guy because I really 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 want uh, Jason to immerse himself in the whole college experience I want him to have friends and join organizations and just soak up as much as this university experience as possible and they're just standing around cheering <laughs> okay they're just like randomly circling this person and cheering she's a member but I wish it was a little easier for us to mingle without them walking off. Um, but that's okay. It is what it is. He's doing the cheer. Can we select him and have him do the cheer? Oh, oh, oh they're starting a cheer. Okay, let's have him start the, the Foxbury cheer. Let's have him do it. It's his first night, you know, first time being a part of the group. Let's have him, let's have him join in. Take the lead a little bit. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. So we've checked out the bar and we've joined an organization. A little later as we explore more of this LP, I will have him, oh, can we order a drink? Well, where's he going? Let's see. Well, he wants to chat with some girl, Becca. I kind of want him to order a drink and hang out a little bit, play juice pong with somebody. Uh, but where's he going? He's walking out. <laughs> Oh, he's chatting with her while he's sitting down. Cool, okay. Um, well, the whole organization thing is over. So, what can we do now? I kind of wish there was more to the meetup. Like, I don't know. Like, the cheering is cool and fun and stuff, but it's kind of weird when they're all just standing around cheering. I get it. I kind of wish there was a little more to do. I will definitely give this bar a... Uh, let's see walls up yeah I will definitely give this bar a renovation makeover so there's more stuff to do um, but we're just getting started we'll dive into this and build more friendships and stuff as we go uh, he is hungry oh he's hungry he's tired and he's in need of a shower okay we'll come over here and talk to her give her a friendly introduction since can you go over there or are you gonna talk to her in your seat oh I was hoping he'd get up let's have him chat with her a little bit Lilith, I guess she had to head back out, probably officially headed home. So we can catch up with her another time. But just mingle with some people here. You're a freshman. <laughs> Get to know some people, make some friends. Brag about your degree and other awesome things you hope to accomplish. Awesome, awesome. Cool, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to have him go home. <laughs> And I bet his mom is like wondering what he's up to and what he's doing. This is so awkward though. Like it's really cool that his mom is is enjoying university and going after that for herself. But he kind of wants to get a little wild and get into some things. So it's going to be kind of awkward trying to figure out that balance with his mom being so close by. Uh, but we'll catch up with Jason when he gets home. Alrighty love, so Jason has made it home. He's strolling in <laughs> at 3.30 in the morning. He's kind of hungry. 
I should have had him get something to eat at the bar, but it was his first time out as a college student. He hung out with Lilith. He joined an organization. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of things to do now that we're a part of the organization. Cool. 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 We're learning as we go, guys. He's a part of the Foxbury Spirit Squad. He's a new member. Uh, party lightly with School Spirit Day or party hard with a game day party. Expect your school's lobster mascot or the juice keg to make an appearance at one or both of these gatherings. Um, successfully started school cheer three times. Put up banner on rival sports arena. Take selfie with mascot. Okay, so cool. It's like a little tracker for his progress as a Foxbury Spirit Squad member. I love it. And then it shows all the events down here. This is pretty cool. Now, I really want him to be a part of a study group. This whole Foxbury Spirit Squad thingy is cool. I'm glad that there's like organization events, but I really want him to be a part of a study group, you know, for, you know, outside of the whole spirit squad group meetup organization type thing. I want him to, to experience both worlds. So that's something we'll have him do. But it's like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> He's probably had a pretty eventful day. I'll help him out and clean up this this plate. Um, there's no dishwasher here, <laughs> so everybody has to wash their dishes by hand, but I'll help him out. I'm going to have him go to sleep. His mom is just upstairs, knocked out. She she had a day-to-day. -day. She had to work, so uh, she's tired. We're going to have him go on to bed, and since it's going into the next day, and he's waking up because he is really dirty, but that's not a reason to wake up. We'll take care of that later <laughs> um but let me let me take care of him real quick let's see go to sleep waking up being dirty is not reason to, to wake up okay and it's a holiday all right <laughs> a lot going on will it be stephanie's first day of class today yes okay awesome so we have so much more to explore with this expansion pack and these two sims that we're going to be following. I cannot wait to dive more into their stories and experience everything that university, well, discover university has to offer. So I'm going to end this part right here since this it's the end of a day, you know, it's going into the next day. And if I were to continue, it would just go on forever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this part here. Please give this part a, a, a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends if you think they might like it as well. This was just the first part. We didn't really dive into everything. We have a whole bunch to learn and explore. And I really can't wait to get into this expansion pack and their stories and their relationships and figure out how things are going to work for them being so close together while going on this university journey because Jason you know he's a young man he wants to party and enjoy this time in his life and his mom is nearby and Stephanie she's kind of excited about this whole college thing but she's going to have to learn how to step off when it comes to Jason and let him do his thing without you know hovering so yeah and I can't wait to see what happens with her and Bob and their little relationship and yeah I'm really excited about all that enough of my excited rambling I'm going to officially end this part here thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys tune in for the next video and uh, if you're new here hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to receive upload notifications so you don't miss out on the next part and I will talk to you lovely amazing spectacular people in my next video bye guys